Good morning, dear children and parents of 5th standard. Today, I will be teaching you one part of English lesson, Exploring Space. This lesson will be taken in two parts. All of you view this video again to have a better understanding. Parents, help the children to concentrate and take notes. In this, we find Nila in space. Do you also want to go into space? Win win in pogo, ko Okay, so now let us move on to the lesson. Before we move on to the lesson, let us do my little dictionary. Students, these will be asked as definition in question and answer section. Milky Way, the galaxy that contains our solar system. Earth, the planet on which we live. Space Shuttle, a spacecraft designed to be used for traveling to a space station. Solar System, the Sun and all the planets that move around it. Universe, the whole space and everything in it, including the planets, stars and galaxies. Earth, the desolated home. So let me give you a summary for this. It is year 2068. Humans have destroyed the Earth and are colonizing the red planet Mars. The girl in the story is Ariyumadi. Her family lived in one such colony. Her grandfather has traveled 1500 kilometers to meet her on her birthday. On seeing her sleeping in a capsule, he wakes her up. Aryumadi is surprised to see her grandpa. He says that the dust storm of Mars that lasts for a month was not there. So it took him just three souls to reach there. You know what is a soul? It is a Martian ear. He then rushes her to harvest the vegetables from the vegetable hab. Aryumadi then as that she heard that the humans used chemical fertilizers and polluted the soil. But in mass, they are unpolluted. Grandpa laughs and says that fruits, vegetables and water and earth were natural. But in mass, these were not real. In mass, we get water by burning fuels. Aryamadi then says to Grandpa that life on earth was easy. But survival in mass is difficult and we have to fight for things we got easily. Grandpa then says, in earth this was, there was no need for space suit or oxygen cylinder and years in Mars were longer than it was in earth. It was almost 687 days. So Arivu would be 18 years old on the earth. Grandpa then thinks we humans destroyed our home, the home that nature had offered us. Now we are trying to make Mars our home. Arivu tells Grandpa not to worry. The scientists are trying to terraform the Mars. But Grandpa says, nothing can be the Earth. The Earth is our home. In the Kadele, in the version 2068, the Bumi is a very good Mars. That's why they are not a very good thing. Mars is a very good thing. And Arivu is a very good thing. Mars Gregatile, Bumi Polar, Carrot Matrum Marai, Yerke Muriel, Varu the Lay. Either Adagana Bumi, Manisha, Epri Alchitana, Nama in the Lesson La Pakro. Now, let us learn meanings of synonyms. Children, please copy the same. Soul, Martian Solar Day or a Martian Day. Capsule, a small cylinder shaped bed. Hab, habitat or human settlement. Fuel, an energy source for engines. Power plants or reactors. Adapting. Modify. Readjust. Survival. To remain alive. Terraform. The process by which the surface and climate will be changed to make the environment suitable to humans. Scientists and expert in science. Now let us move to the practice exercises. Let us understand. We will do some practice exercise. First one is choose the correct options given below. Life found on other planets is called dash, alien. Some people believe that there might be life on Mars, planet. I don't live on moon, but I live on dash, earth. The person who travels to space is a dash, astronaut. The next, the scientific observer of celestial bodies is astronomer. Next is fill in the blanks. The man destroyed earth. In the earth, we get water from dash, rain. In Mars, dash days make a year, 687. You don't need dash and dash in the earth, space suit and oxygen cylinder. Fruits, vegetables and water in the Mars are not dash, real. Now, let us build. 
Here we are going to learn compound words. What is a compound word? When we combine two words, we will get a new word with a different meaning. These words are called compound words. So children, please keep in mind, you will be asked a question, what is a compound word? Now let us see some examples. Here, if you see the pictures, there is a picture of light plus a picture of house. If you combine these two, we get lighthouse with a totally different meaning. See the next picture, there is mail plus box. When you combine these two, we get the word mailbox. Next exercise, write the compound words from the pictures. So the first one is watch plus man. So we get watchman. Next is rain plus bow. So we get the compound word rainbow. The next picture is star plus fish. So we get starfish. The next is foot plus ball and we get the compound word football. Now we will continue with more exercises in con compound words. Use the clues to complete the compound words. The clues given are one word and a picture is given. We have to find the next word and combine it to form the single compound word. The first one is already done for you. The second one is bean and you can see the picture of wheelchair. So we have to fill it as chair and together the word is wheelchair. The next one is basket and a picture of a basketball is there. So we fill up ball and make it basketball. Next is match the compound words. The pictures are given. You have to draw a line to the corresponding uh, words and then make it into a compound word. First picture is hand. Matching it with the bag and becomes handbag. Next is ear. We match it with a picture of a ring and make it earring. The next we match dragon to fly to make it dragon fly. Finally, we match the picture of jelly to fish and make it jellyfish. Option D. Draw and write your own compound words. Children, this is your homework and you must do this assignment. Option E. Connect the compound words and create a word. Here, we can match cup and board and it becomes cupboard. Just let's try and match cup and ball. Doesn't make any sense. So the cupboard is the correct word. Next, let us match moon and paper. It doesn't match moon and light. If you match, it becomes moonlight. Next, you match cow and boy. It becomes cowboy. And next, you match rain and coat. It becomes raincoat. Now, we move on to the memory poem. Children, memorize this poem and repeat the poem as I sing. Beyond the universe. I dream of flying beyond the earth amidst the planets and the countless stars. I would stop by the red planet Mars. Here we dream of a home away from home. Fly on to watch the Saturn with its rings and moons. Then I stop by Jupiter, marvel by its red storms that look like marbles. Hurtling through a belt of asteroids, I crossed Uranus without a fuss. To Neptune, the blue eyes giant, further high, I fly beyond the galaxy. To meet the creator of this magnificent display, to take me beyond the Milky Way to voyage across the galaxies. Now let us go to another set of meanings or Synonyms. Beyond. Also the limits or reach. Amidst. Surrounded by. Marveling. Something that causes wonder. Resembles. To be like or similar to. Marbles. A little ball of glass or clay used by children to play. Hurling. Racing over the barriers. Further. To move ahead. Let us understand. Match the planets and its features. If you recall the poem, you can easily match the planets to its features. See, Mars can be matched to red planet. Saturn can be matched to ring and moons. Jupiter can be matched to red storm. Uranus can be matched to rolling on its axis. Neptune can be matched to blue ice giant.
Now, let us move on to collective nouns. Here, look at the picture. The girl says, hey, Shruti, look, there are a lot of cows. Shruti replies, no, Somo, you should call it a herd of cows. Why does she say so? As Shruti says, a collection, group of cows, is called as herd of cows. To indicate any group, we use collective nouns. Here, there are some examples. Say, a group of players is called a team of players. A group of stars is called a galaxy of stars. A collection of dogs is called a pack of dogs. A collection of bees is called a swarm of bees. In the next picture, a band of musicians. In the next picture, you can see an army of ants. Now, let us do some more exercise to learn about the collective nouns. Yeah, write the collective nouns. You will have to fill up. Here you see number of birds. You can call it a flock of birds. And the next picture you see grapes. You call it as a bunch of grapes. Next is B. Match the picture with the collective nouns. Look at the picture and draw lines to it. A flock of goats. See the picture number 3. A bucket of flowers. It is picture number 1. An army of soldiers. It's picture number 5. A school of fish. It is picture number 2. A choir of singers. It is picture number 4. Now next, we'll see what is the abstract noun. Shruti says, Hi Somo, I find happiness in sharing my ideas. Let me show you another kind of naming word. There are some naming words that cannot be only felt and experienced. We cannot see or touch them. For example, we cannot see happiness, but we can feel and experience it. These naming words are called abstract nouns. We can feel anger, we can feel sadness, but we cannot see this. So these are called abstract nouns. Santosho, bayo, dukho, idala, nammalala, unara mattunga modiyo, ana, paaka modiyadu. In the mari phoenix ana, abstract nouns ana, they will say. Here are some examples. So look at the first picture. It is happiness. The second one is anger. The third one is sadness. The last one is jealous. Now let us see some more examples. You have to pick up the abstract nouns from the options given above. He takes pride in his job. The correct option is pride. The dog is a symbol of peace. Here the abstract noun is peace. My grandmother is full of wisdom. Here the abstract noun is wisdom. Inia is very tall for her age. Here the abstract noun is tall. Prem felt a lot of anger. The abstract noun is anger. Now some more exercises on abstract noun. Let us read the first row. Tiger, fear, fish, law. Here the abstract noun is fear. Children, you must draw stars like this and write all the abstract nouns and color fear. The next second row, let's read. Pen, joy, friend, rose. Here joy is the abstract noun. Third row is picture, freedom, kindness and computer. So the abstract noun here are freedom and kindness. Now let us speak. Here we are going to learn some structures that can be used in certain situations. See how they speak at the situation and practice as if you were in that situation. A man visits his friend's house and see how his daughter is speaking to him. Hello uncle, please come in. He replies, how are you Mori? I am fine uncle, please take your seat. Uncle says, thank you, where is your dad? He is taking bath. Wait uncle, I will inform him. Uncle replies, it's okay ma, let him come. Can I get you some coffee to drink? Uncle says, thanks ma, but I had coffee just now. Then Madi says, then how about some buttermilk uncle? Uncle replies, that would be nice. She brings and says, here is a buttermilk uncle. It is really nice. Thank you ma. The buddy replies, you are welcome. So let us also find structures that are useful for this situation. Like, is your dad home? Call your dad. Inform your dad that I am here. I am here. I want to see your hand. And some mother replies, whom do you want to meet? He is not home. He has gone outside. He is out of town. Wait, he will come in two minutes. 
that someone has come to see you. So, see some of these replies that can be given. So, children, practice like this with your parents, sibling or your friend or your neighbor. Fifth standard students, now we move on to the question and answer section of the prose lesson, The Earth That Has Lit at Home. Answer the following questions. Name the setting of the story. The setting of the story is in the year 2068. Name the vegetable harvested in the vegetation hat. Carrots were harvested in the vegetation hat. What is soul? How many souls make a year? Martian solar day is called soul. 687 souls make a year. Then now the next question. Question number 4. How water is produced in Mars? Water is produced by the burning of fuels. In this story, what happened to the earth? The earth was destroyed by the humans in this story. Next, what should be done to save earth? We can save earth by using the resources properly. By not using unnecessary chemicals and polluting and by stopping the usage of plastics. Next, we move on to the question and answer section for the poetry beyond the universe. Answer the following questions. Where is the poet flying to in the dream? The poet is flying beyond the earth in between the planets and countless stars. Which planet has rings around it? The planet Saturn has rings around it. Which planet has red straw? The planet Jupiter has red straw. Question number 4. Why does the poet fly out of the universe? The poet flies out of the universe to meet the creator of this magnificent display and to go beyond the Milky Way and to voyage across the galaxies. Question number 5. Name the planets the poet flies through. The poet flies through Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Children, please write this question and answer as an assignment in a notebook. Stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.